Hello, this is Ray Albert with Nutmeg Digital Marketing and the eBusiness Learning Center. And today I want to talk about how you can uh, make money online with your local businesses uh, once you build a website and how you can rank your website in the search engine so that you can make money online. Believe it or not, this is not very hard to do, although it has a steep learning curve because it's so easy, but yet it's not. So let me explain to it. I'll get into it when we start the video. So let's see what's going on here. And what I'm doing here is I'm showing you two keywords that I ranked within 24 hours just by creating content. And uh, the keyword uh, right here is discount roofing in Baytown, Texas. So it's very easy to rank for local terms like this. So discount roofing in Baytown, Texas, I made content on it yesterday and today it's um, in second place right underneath of the uh, three pack. Um, the second keyword is residential roofing. Also a local term keyword that I created, residential roofing Baytown, Texas, which is now on the second page after 24 hours. Now it's very important to realize that it's not the typical keywords that people think about that's going to make the money online. It's it's keywords that people are actually looking for because they have a problem they need to solve. Not typical keywords, short tail keywords that you know Google Analytics is going to give you or any any research tool for keyword research is the shortest keyword out there that gets the most searches, but that necessarily isn't going to make you the money. So how did I find these keywords? And how do I know they're going to make me money? I learned a little bit from Neil Patel yesterday and that he was talking about the same thing. That just because you get a lot of searches because you know you rank in the domain rankings to be able to rank for these short tail keywords that get a lot of searches but you're, you're not making any money. So that was his point right there. So he said why don't you just research your competitors and put it into Uber Suggest which is Neil Patel's own um, you know research tool kind of like it on the same lines as Ahrefs but not as technical so far I'm sure they're building this thing out to be as competitive but right now it's free and you should use this tool because it's it's awesome so let me show you what I did okay see now the first thing that I did was I typed in a keyword phrase uh, where's the keyword phrase here? typed in the keyword phrase roofer at Baytown Texas so my client is in Baytown Texas and he wanted me to uh, rank him for some keywords so that he can get more roofing business because he's a roofer. So what I did was I put roof, roofer Baytown, Texas. So that's just a general term. And uh, you see the first things that come up like Baytown roof and contractors there in the three pack here, uh, best roofer in Baytown. But uh, you, uh, what I do is I scroll down to see what the first results are because that's what you want to look for. The best competitors, and you skip things like Home Advisor, Angie's List, Better Business Bureau, and this is the first one that pops up, uh, Smith and Sons Roofing, that comes up for this term, Roofer Baytown, Texas. So then you go to Neil Patel's website, and uh, we suggest, and you put in their domain that they're ranking on this page for. So I'm gonna just put this in here, and then we're gonna do a, a really quick search. So as you can see that um, they're getting for their organic traffic is 737 uh, monthly searches or monthly organic traffic. Uh, they have organic keywords ranking of 1980, uh, domain score of only 14, so that's kind of low, right? Uh, and backlinks, they have 467 backlinks. So let's look at their keywords. So what you want to do here is you want to go to this that says keywords. Now. This is free for now. I mean, I would take advantage of this crap, man, because it's you know it's not going to stay free forever. Because as soon as they start getting traction with this uh, Uber Suggest, believe me, it's going to cost money. It already costs money to do certain things. So you can see here that these terms right here are making them money. They're getting the people there, and uh, some of these like 33, I think a 33, a 33 is is kind of hard to do if you're a brand new website. But I, like I said, th this website that I put these two keywords up on yesterday is a brand new website. I don't even think it's gone through the sandbox phase yet. So it's about a month old. And I just ranked these two keywords yesterday. So what I did was I looked down to see the keyword competition. 
And so you have like 20s, pretty low, metal roofs in Houston. So that's a keyword that they're ranking for here. Let's go down and see uh, Sugarland Roof Repair. Don't know if that has any relevance to Baytown, Texas. Uh, Ernie Smith and Roofing and Sons. So you can see what I'm doing. The longer the tail word, the longer the keyword tail, tail word, the easier that the uh, competition is to rank for. And so that's how I found the keywords discount roofing and residential roofing. To find the, the longer tail keywords that have the least amount of resistance, you might say, the, the competition to rank for, and then create content around it. So if you look at the content that is around this keyword in the searches right here, um, this is the first one that I came up with. And, and as you can see, there's not much content there at all. It's not like they're not even really trying to rank for that. And if I go down to more results, best roofers in Baytown, Texas. So if I click on that one, you're going to see that the competition here is not very much for the keyword and they're not really uh, have they don't really have that much content so what I did was I took those keywords that I ranked for within 24 hours and I took the three the first keyword I, I did was discount roofing and then I took the top three results and I looked at the content and I decide I created better content, period. And I put all the right keywords in the right places. And I did the same thing with the residential roofing in Baytown, Texas. And I took the top three results and I made better content. And um, I made the content yesterday on both of them. Made sure that they were indexed. And uh, today I just checked it out and I was really surprised to see that they, their ranking, the, the discounted roofing is on the first page and second place and residential roofing is on the second page. Now, I of course, and none of these results that I got for Baytown Roofing have actual backlinks going to these pages. So I'm creating backlinks going to these pages, which I almost guarantee you within a, a month or so, um, they're going to be right on the top of the search engines for those key results. And this is how I'm getting my client business for his roofing company. So remember, it's not the bigger, the better, the most uh, in a keyword. It's the longer the keyword, the easier to rank for, and the, the keywords that people are actually searching for to resolve their problems. And it's called search your intent. So with that said, once you know your customer and you know what the search intent is, it's very easy to write for these keywords which you're going to blow your competition out of the water because you're going to be able to make money and even though they're getting a lot of searches per month they're not going to be making as much money as you because you're going to be getting all the good keywords you're going to be getting all the good money words the money's in the keyword right all right with that said i hope you like the content if you do go down there and subscribe to the channel take that icon bell so you're notified every time that i come up with a new video. This is Ray Albert with Nutmeg Digital Marketing and the eBusiness Learning Center. I'll see you in the next video.